G'day, I'm Paul from Matisse and welcome to Facebook Feedback. Recently we had an inquiry about our open medium, MM31, and I'm wanting to demonstrate today how we can use that and put it into practical application here on site. It's an extremely useful tool and useful medium when working plein air, particularly today when the day's quite hot and our paints are going to tend to dry out. MM31 is a dry, it slows down the drying. We need to just add a small quantity to the puddles of paint on our palette. So if we have a look, we've just, I've just added, just with your finger or your brush, a quantity. It would equate to roughly, I suppose, 10% or maybe a bit more. It's not that important or that critical. But the wonderful advantage of it, particularly working here, is that we can keep areas of the painting wet for longer. So where this is wet, it gives us the opportunity to work back into that. Now, we also, somebody inquired about the uses of it with flow. It has the same properties if we add it to flow, it will slow down the drying time, but it doesn't actually change the viscosity of the paint. So with flow, it will still give you that run that you're after for the paint. So today we're using Open Medium MM31 with structure. We need to remember that we only need to add, as I said earlier, about 10, 20%. I don't measure it technically. If we go to 50%, this is about the point at which we meet, reach the maximum drying time. And what that means is if you add any more, it's not going to increase the drying time any further. What I've found is that it depends on the humidity of the day, the hotness of the day, etc. But these will stay wet long enough for me to complete this picture. So that's probably two, three hours. Plenty of time outside, on site. If you're working indoors, obviously it's going to last a little longer because the oxidisation rate is going to decrease. The beauty of it is that with it remaining wet, we can then go back into the painting and adjust things as we go. Working plein air, the picture plane is always changing. There's always things coming along. There's always things going out of the picture. So what this does is give me the opportunity to rapidly change this water where necessary. The important thing is to make sure that you let the surface area dry naturally. So let the oxidization of this, once you're happy with the end result, let it dry of its own accord. Don't force dry it, so don't hit it with a hairdryer or anything like that because you'll break down the chemical consistency of the paint and it can become unstable. So we never want an unstable product at the end of the day. It's very important to keep our paintings legitimate. I hope that's answered a few of the queries that we had from our inquiry on Facebook. Thank you.